Things I'd Rather Do Than Die. That is the title of a YA fiction book by Christine Hurley Durizzo. And I don't verge into many YA books that often. So I only like a certain few ones or I haven't made myself read some of the popular ones that a lot of the booktubers are talking about, but I chose this one to have a look at. And it goes in between two points of view of Jade and Ethan. And one chapter might be just Jade, one chapter might be Ethan. Or there's a few times where it just switches back and forth between them. So it starts off with Jade closing down with her manager at the gym she works at. And then, and Ethan, that's where Ethan comes in, where he didn't realize that they're closing up, but the manager's like, oh yeah, go ahead. And Jade's like, seriously, seriously. <laughs> and they don't. And Jade and Ethan are like complete opposites and they don't, aren't in the same kind of group, so they don't talk, really. So, and then it goes into this guy, if it wasn't for Ethan wanting to go have a workout, it, they would have already been closed up when this guy comes into the gym and robs them. So if Ethan didn't come, this this situation wouldn't have rolled into the coming book, but she wouldn't have a book if she didn't make this happen. So this guy starts off just thinking it's just Jade there, so just going to rob, rob her, but Ethan comes in, so that gradually them's being locked up in one of the rooms for about like eight hours. And when they are like found eventually, just a sequence of events starts happening. You start learning like Ethan is a really Christian teen, like really Christian teen, Jade, isn't that involved in a church like she's she says she is an atheist but almost like agnostic so but you got each of them have these different things happen to them or have are in the process of happening like Ethan like almost I having after this almost having an identity crisis somewhat is he this stereotypical church-going football player that's going out with the uh, cheer with a cheerleader, who eventually, after this, start have the conflict of their own, and then Jade having issues with her family and her being mixed race, being white and black. So there's a few different issues in this book about like different like stereotypes and like different types of issues and what the main kind of thing is a lot of these like issues are kind of like they're almost being pulled together because they're saying like they're thinking oh, I think I actually am starting to have feelings or likeness for this other person. So there's that on top of it, and it's just them trying to figure out their life after them being robbed at like gunpoint and being locked in a gym's, lo a gym's locker room for eight hours and what that has affected on them. So... It is, I found it actually a little bit interesting to have a read and I found myself saying, 
okay, where is this going? Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> and so, it's a nice read, actually, and so, yeah, Things I'd Rather Do Than Die by Christine Hurley Durizzo. Happy readings.